Hi, I'm Rob, and here we're going to do a, a comparison between Ebene and Hibernate's treatment of uh, fetch join with a one to many that includes Max Rose. So, firstly, uh, note that without Max Rose, the treatment is very similar. Um, so, here we've got a JPA query, which is select from customer, uh, left join fetch the contacts. And contacts here is a one to many relationship. We've got query uh, max results 10 and executing that query. And here's the, the equivalent eBean query using a query bean. So query bean for customer, uh, contacts fetch all the properties, max rows 10, and we find the customers. So these two queries are effectively the same. The, um, the first thing is that we'll compare the SQL without any max rows. So we'll just treat the it is as if the max rows wasn't there. So if we have a look at the Hibernate SQL, um, we see the uh, select from the customer, outer join to the contacts, and uh, order by ID. And this, this is all pretty standard stuff. Um, what we will see is a difference in style between uh, the Hibernate and Ebean SQL. Uh, the only thing that's slightly interesting here is that Hibernate has this contacts one ID column which is actually also up here context one id so there's a duplicate column not too sure why that is but if we look at the ebean uh, generated sql it's effectively the same uh, there's a different style up we from customer t0 was the table alias uh, left join contacts etc so effectively the same sql but uh, just a different style there however um once we add max rows, there is quite a difference. And eBean honors max rows in SQL. Uh, so what that means is that um, eBean will, uh, it's important from an eBean perspective that we give the database the opportunity to optimize the query. And we're giving the database uh, the uh, first rows, max rows, um, op, op, um, paging type information to, to optimize that query itself. And to do so, eBean needs to split the query into two SQL select statements. And uh, we should also note that the second query is uh, effectively a find by foreign key. So it's, it's pretty fast because the foreign keys will pretty much always have indexes on them. So if we have a look at that, um, so this is the original query that uh, eBean would generate. And then if we do max rows 10, what we get is we get um, two queries, so this is the first query, selecting from customer, so we can see here select from customer and limit 10. So this will use limit offset or uh, whatever the paging is for the, for the database that's being used. And then we get a second query that's fired which is select from contact where the customer ID, which is our foreign key column, is in a set of ID values. So these are the customer ID values from our first query. Um, so the only other thing we should add here is that this, this in clause here is relatively important in the sense that we don't want to have too much variation here. So when uh, databases execute a query, they will have a query execution plan and they will be able to cache that against the SQL statement. So if we have lots of variation in this in clause, we would have lots of um, different query execution plans that we would be trying to hit. So when eBean generates this query, the, the number of bind values in the in clause is limited to be either 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100. So that limits the variation in this in clause and gives us the, the chance, a better chance of hitting a query plan in the database that's been pre-calculated if you like. So so that's the, the two things to note. eBean will generate two queries now instead of the one. Um, the first query has is, is got the paging in it, so it's got the limit offset clause, and the second query is effectively a find by foreign key columns, where the, where the end clause is important in terms of not having too much variation there. Uh, Hibernate does not honor the max rows in terms of the SQL that's generated. So instead, um, it will generate the same SQL that we saw in the first first slide, if you like. 
um, and do client side paging so all of the rows are brought back to the client which is typically going to be an application server and then the if you like the first rows max rows paging is actually done on the client side and hibernate uh, logs a warning when it's doing this so it says uh, 104 uh, first result max results specified with collection fetch applying in memory so um, hibernate also doesn't think this is a particularly good idea so there's a scenario that you just need to be very careful of where so I've got a scenario here I've got a million customers uh, each customer has on average 10 contacts and we're finding the 100 most recent customers with their contacts so if we were running this with hibernate we would get one SQL query uh, it would fetch 10 million rows and then it would do the filtering on the client side from those 10 million rows to build the the object graph of the first 100 customers and we'd also get the warning logged that we saw before uh, with eBean it would split this up into two SQL queries so the first one is fetching the first 100 customers so we'll get 100 rows back from that and then the second query will fetch the contacts for those 100 customers so that's on average 10 contacts per customer so we'll get about a, a thousand rows so there's kind of two differences here that are important from a from an eBean perspective as to why we do this um, one is that we're in, in terms of eBean we're pulling back a lot less data over from the database to the client so, so you know this is 1100 rows of data and this is 10 million rows so that's about a four agma four orders of magnitude difference but the other main difference here is that eBean is really giving the database the opportunity to optimize that first query um, so what basically with the eBean idea is that uh, the max rows of 100 is important to give to the database and what that um, for example the database can say well I've got an index on you know ID or uh, whatever the predicates are say uh, when created and it can use the index to find the first 100 and go from there um, whereas this will the, the hibernate query here will tend towards a full table scheme something like that so <laughs> there is quite a difference and this is something to watch out for um, if you're going from eBean to hibernate for example um, this is probably a bit of a bit of a concern or a bit of a risk okay that's it thank you